First of all, it is true that professors uh, and instructors in higher education do tend to be more liberal than uh, other Americans. Uh, although, uh, I'll also stress that their radicalism is uh, greatly exaggerated by conservative critics. But the second point uh, that I think is important is that this has been true for a long time, uh, at least since 1958, probably uh, much earlier than that. Now, if you look at general social survey data um, uh, and focus just on a question about whether professors identify as liberal or conservative, you find that, um, that uh, depending on how you code the data, about 43% of professors think of themselves as liberal. Um, I think that the, the true number is probably a little bit higher than that. It's probably closer to 50 if you take a little bit more expansive view of the data. And that's huge. Um, it makes uh, academia the, the most liberal major occupation in the United States. If you're trying to move ahead in society, gain more prestige, gain more power, uh, and what you have at your disposal is knowledge uh, and, uh, and, high stat and high taste uh, and not money, then that might lead you to you know, want to kind of disrespect the business classes, put them down, uh, you know, make a strong case that knowledge is more important than money. And that might lead people to be more liberal, according to this hypothesis. There's a second, uh, much more uh, 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 material version of the hypothesis, and it goes like this. Democrat politicians uh, often favor putting more money into science, putting more money into higher education. Republicans generally oppose these things, so just on the basis of thinking about their own pocketbooks uh, and uh, you know, the possibility for doing research, uh, professors should tend to lean Democratic.